Blessings, my brothers and sisters. This is your brother in Christ, John Ramirez. I am blessed to be here today and speak into your heart and encourage you, encourage you, encourage you, lift you up, man. Tell you how awesome you are in the Lord Jesus Christ. And man, there's nothing without Jesus. We have nothing. We can't be awesome in him if he doesn't show up and he doesn't, if he doesn't live in us. I, I just, people always ask, what is spiritual warfare? People, on this, we know it's the demonic realm. We know it's a, the unseen realm. We know it's the realms of different levels of spiritual warfare, the different realms of the spirit. We know how the enemy operates his camp. In the spiritual realm, his arsenals in the spiritual realm. We understand that that has a lot to do with spiritual warfare. But really, what is spiritual warfare? Spiritual warfare is this. Do you trust God? That, that's the bottom line. That's what spiritual warfare is about. Do you trust the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you trust him in the battle? Do you trust him against the enemy? Do you trust him against the trials that you're going through? Do you trust him against the testing that you go through? You know, Job said, he tried me, and after I went through the fire, I came out pure on the other side. Just paraphrasing the scripture of the book of Job. Amen? What is spiritual warfare to you? What spiritual warfare are you going through? What spiritual warfare are you experiencing? What spiritual warfare are you coming out of? And some of you are going in right now. As we speak, some of you are going to run into spiritual warfare right now, to things that are the unseen, unexplainable, things that are uh, on the unknown. And, and how, how are you preparing yourself for the fight? How are you preparing yourself for the battle? How are you preparing yourself to get the victory? How are you preparing yourself to go through the process, to the process of spiritual warfare? How are you preparing yourself? We trust God. We lean on God. The Bible says in in Proverbs 3, it says, lean on God and don't lean on your own understanding. Uh, but where is your part in the whole situation on the spirit round, spiritual warfare, your fight? You, how are you are lining up your arsenals against the enemy? Amen. I want to share something with you today. It's not a pity party. So please don't, don't email about pity party stuff. You want to pray for me? I receive your prayers anytime, any day. I love when people pray for me, especially people that are genuine and they pray from a sincere heart and they pray from a place to sit with Jesus Christ to be a blessing to me. So I want to share a moment with you. In January 9th of this year, I did one of the most powerful with my friend Richard Kettler. Richard Kettler, he is a minister of the gospel. He's a minister. In case you didn't know him, he has a, a powerful ministry. It's called Strike at the Head of the Serpent Ministry. It's a powerful frontline spiritual warfare deliverance ministry. We teamed up with my friend with the pastor in California. We teamed up with him via Zoom. Uh, Foundation of True Church, Pastor Ahmed. We teamed up and we did a we did an amazing masses deliverance ministry that day. I mean, it was two hours of that we had about a hundred. And I think something about 133, it might have been more, 100, maybe 140 people receiving delivery. There was one lady that testified later. She said that she had a hemorrhage for 20 years. The doctors couldn't do nothing for her. And God healed her that day. So I just want to share this moment with you. Uh, just because I went into the battlefield. And my friend Richard went into the battlefield. My, my pastor friend Amin in California went into the battlefield. The devil came the backlash, retaliation, retribution that the enemy brought, which God allowed, by the way. Boy, hit my friend Richard. He had to go to the hospital and deal with some medical issues. I got hit on my eyesight. I have to do surgery this coming Thursday. I have to do a major surgery this coming Thursday. My eyes are blurry. I have to do surgery. I have a cataract lens in my eye, which the doctors say in the years that they've been doing this surgery, they never had that stuff come off someone's eye. So my cataract lens in my eye came off because of the spiritual warfare. So it's floating around my eye as we speak. So they have to do surgery to stitch it back up into my eye pupil this coming Thursday. That means that I probably be blind for a couple of days, maybe a week without seeing. So I'm doing this video to encourage you. That is my fight. That is my that is my fight. That is my purpose. And now my question is: If I would have known, if God would have said to me, John, if you do the Zoom meeting, if you do the Zoom meeting, it's going to cost you your eyesight. Imagine if God would have told me that before the fight started. If God would have told me it would have cost you your eyesight. If God would tell me you'd be blind for a couple of days a week, you're not going to be able to see. But are you still willing to get into the battlefield? And you want to engage in spiritual warfare. 
many of us would have said, well, I don't think I want to do that. I would have done it anyway because I love to see my brothers and sisters free. Even though I'm paying a price, even though I got backlash, even though I got retaliation, retribution from the enemy, I seen brothers and sisters get set free. Yes, it's a, it's a setback for me right now. I don't go minister into February. It's a setback for me to get healed and get, and get my, my eyesight back 100%. But I praise God for the opportunity to fight the good fight and stand in the gap for my brothers and sisters. That's what spiritual warfare is about. Bless you. Love you. Keep me in prayer. Wanted to share this moment with you to let you know that we are more than conquerors. We are the, we are the head and not the tail. And we can do all things to Jesus Christ. So it's not about what you endured in the battle or what you're going through. It's about do you believe God for your breakthrough, your restoration, and your restitution. In Jesus' name, I leave you with those words. Bless you all. Amen. Have a blessed Sunday. Amen. And I'll talk to you soon.